have our uh, Pinot Noir offerings here right now for our Spring 2021 Wine Club. It's a 2018 vintage Pinot from Rancho La Vina, uh, a 2014 from Rancho La Vina, and then a 2014 library wine from Turner Vineyard. Um, so let's dive into the, the Rancho La Vinas. I'm excited to try this 18. So Rancho La Vina Vineyard, it's out on Santa Rosa Road in the Santa Rita Hills. It's one of the one of the westernmost vineyards in Santa Rita, um, just east of the Salsa Puedas Ranch, which has Bent Rock and Radian Vineyards. Um, so we're really concentrated on that west end of Santa Rita Hills. Um, and the vineyard itself is really special. It's north facing. Um, it's planted on a little bit heavier clay-based soils. They're actually making this push uh, towards dry farming um, and organic farming under some new vineyard management, which is really exciting. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this wine and stop talking for a second. Neil, what do you think? Yeah, this is always uh, I would say every vintage. This is definitely one of my my favorite vineyards that we make Pinot from, um, and this falls right in line with that. Um, always kind of those bright red fruits, um, a fair amount of spice, always kind of involved, um, and a lot of a lot of richness. I mean, I just. It's fun tasting these wines because, you know, we bottled this wine about a year ago but haven't released it. So um, kind of rediscovering what that what that wine's all about. But Rancho La Vina always has this core richness, which is just so really one of its signatures at the terroir. And this 2018, you know, it's elegant and balanced, um, but it just has such great mouthfeel and richness and this real kind of core density to it. Yeah, um, it's really nice. All right, so here we have the 2014 vintage Rancho La Vina. And this is a wine that we know well that we've uh, featured in the tasting room and it's one of our favorite library wines in the Simsara collection. Um, 2014 was a warm vintage. It was right in the middle of the, the big drought that we had in California. And the 14s kind of show that warmer vintage. Um, yeah, slightly on the, the little bit of the riper end on the fruit. But I also get some nice kind of like more uh, earthy kind of dried uh, leaves and, and things of that nature on the nose compared to the 18. Yeah, a lot of aromatic complexity. That's one of the, the benefits of having a little bit more time in bottle. Um, and for having some time in bottle, this wine still has a lot of freshness and uh, a, lot of, a lot of time left in it, I think. Yeah, and just really great mouthfeel, great texture, kind of that signature richness, which I was talking about with the 2018 vintage. Um, Still got a lot of life in it as well. Yeah, really firing on all levels. I think this is a, a crowd pleaser that's gonna please any Pinot lover at the table. So for our next wine, we have the 2014 vintage of Pinot Noir from Turner Vineyard. And uh, Neil, can you tell us where Turner Vineyard is? Yeah, so it kind of sits in the heart of Santa Rita Hills, uh, just just above Melville Vineyard, if you're familiar with, with where that is. Um, uh, it's got a little bit more of elevation than some of the other vineyards that we get Pinot from. Um, it's got a little bit more of denser and heavier soils as well, which uh, kind of lends itself to a little bit more um, what? Yeah, a little bit more power, I think, and that's that's something that we get out of the, the Pinot Noir and the Syrah that we've produced out of Turner Vineyard in the past. And yeah, I always get just a, kind of a more powerful quality out of the Turner Vineyard wines. And this 2014, you know, similar to the Rancho La Vina, it's a little more fruit driven because of the vintage, but I think it's another crowd pleaser because it's really balanced. It has the acidity, the structure. It's got a few years on it, but it's still really fresh and really youthful. And uh, I think because of that, that kind of pronounced fruit quality, um, it's, it's a wine that pretty much everybody's gonna like because it's just easy to, to fall in love with a wine that has this great texture and such great flavor and really good balance. Yeah, easy drinking, but also beautiful food wine, I would say. Um, so yeah. Yeah, well, cheers and enjoy your, your club shipment. All right, thanks to everybody for joining us today, uh, tasting through these new wines and learning a little bit about the wines and the vineyards. We really appreciate your club membership and all your support. Uh, and we're, we're hopeful that 
uh, for our next release. And sometime very soon, we can have folks joining us here in person at the winery uh, as we start to see light at the end of the tunnel. We're really excited about that. Yeah, and, and also just really looking forward to hearing all the feedback and on, on these wines. They're newly released wines, a lot of them, so looking forward to hearing what, what you have to say. Well, thanks for your continued support, and we hope you enjoy the wines. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.